So yeah, here we are on the river. It's not uh, completely frozen over, but it's certainly starting. Uh, there's an interesting building across the way in the Paris of the Prairies. Hey, it's me. My nose is running, which isn't so attractive, and my face is, uh, what do you call it, almost windburned. <coughs> but that's okay. <coughs> it's, um, it's still a beautiful day here. It's not too windy. Uh, I had a little nudge from someone on, on Twitter, on the tweet world, basically saying, Hey dude, do a vlog, we miss you. And I, I had forgotten about doing it, don't get me wrong. Um, it was more a case of, I didn't think anyone was hungry enough for it. Yeah, a few of you signed up for subscription, that was very nice. And um, a few others hopped on <coughs> to Twitter. That was nice too, I post up surprises up there, little uh, teases and haikus daily now, like old school saints and uh, also um, pictures every once in a while. Some of those are revealing. Um, speaking of revealing, again, as we reveal the lovely skyline here, um, I think they call it the Paris of the Prairies because uh, of the bridges. There are lots of bridges crossing the river into the little city. That's uh, an old hotel, lots of churches. At night, it's quite beautiful here. Uh, during the day, it's, you know, it's a simple industrial town, right? It's um, potash and oil and all that stuff. Pretty famous university for veterinary science and agriculture and nuclear science and a whole bunch of strange things. Um, but it's nice here, it's quiet. A lot of people have been asking, why the heck did you leave Vancouver? Well, there are a couple of reasons. I think uh, one of the main ones was I did not want to be within like a hundred mile radius of that place when the Olympics swarm in. I needed a break and I know how well Vancouverites plan for things, i.e. not very well. Um, so I can just imagine all the problems on the, uh, the highways, how they'll have the one main bridge at a town going in one direction and the other main bridge going in the other. So if like something happens or there's a terrorist act, the city is in like big trouble. Um, just the, the craziness of tourists and expectations and how everything will get more expensive and congested and I wasn't necessarily looking forward to that. Uh, I'd heard some great things from friends about how good this city was and um, I needed a change. I've been in Vancouver for 16 years. Uh, that's over two life cycles. As you know, over seven years, uh, the cells in our body, every cell completely dies and is replaced by a new one. So you're a completely different human being every seven years. I'd had two life cycles in Vancouver and I felt the itch two years ago to move. Um, I just didn't listen to it. So now I listen to it and uh, I'm here in the tune. Let's take a look at that, that water again. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Steady ice flows going. So, so as I'm recording here, you're going, well, why else did you come to Saskatoon? And uh, I think that, <laughs> let's just say that I moved to Vancouver 15, 16 years ago. Um, one of the dreams was to make a movie. Back then it was as an actor. And I uh, did my little parts and helped out with people's stuff. And then I was making video games. And then I was, you know, had other ideas. And then of course Saints came along and some other things. And I worked with Hollywood people and had an agent and all that stuff. But still, 16 years in Vancouver, and no matter who I tried to push an idea onto or get together as a, as a group or as a, you know, raise some funds and make something, um, I think that people complain about Vancouver being uh, a service industry. You know, you can make a lot of money uh, servicing people. <laughs> that sounds kind of dirty, but it's true. You can. You can make a lot of money in the service industry working on stuff like Smallville and Supernatural or X-Files back in the day on the movies that come to town like the Twilight uh, thing. Um, and I have friends working on all that stuff. And that's great. And then you've got, like, you know, Ian's company is doing incredibly well. He's doing service work, uh, you know, titles and animations. He's doing all those, uh, the Batman black and white things. And Andrew's helping out with that. And you can make a lot of money doing service stuff. And, you know, I still do the occasional contract to stay alive, do service stuff. Um, but really, I want to make something original. And it's very hard in Vancouver, um, even with the government grants to get behind that. And uh, let me give you a little piece of advice about... Uh, the fine province of Saskatchewan. Hard enough to say, even harder to bear the cold um, or a loss from the local football team, which we'll talk about another day. But honestly, it is um, 
tax credits here. Uh, 50% plus if you shoot outside of a major urban area, which this is considered one. 50% um, plus tax back uh, on, on production costs if you shoot in this province. It's um, one of the things if you're a production company based in this province. Whoa! And so uh, I thought, hey, maybe it's time for a move. So I think we'll, we'll wind it up there because uh, I kind of let you know, in essence, maybe what I'm working on. It's not just that. Um, there's some other stuff too. Uh, if you go to brokensaints.com, I'm sure you saw uh, a couple of things there. Little linky poos, maybe one in particular. A uh, teaser with a date. Um, that's kind of tied into it all as well. And um, I will say this for sure. It is based on a true story. And uh, I don't know, to quote Kevin Smith of all people, um, People had asked me for a long time, when are you going to, you know, make something again, something meaningful? I get mails like almost every week, sometimes every day. And um, all I can say is I had to wait until I had something to say, you know, something real to say. And now I do. Uh, see you soon. Lots of love. Happy holidays. Keep your eyes peeled for a newsletter coming with some stuff from Tobias and some other Christmas greetings. Um, Add on to the Twitter if you want, or the Facebook page. Lots of new stuff coming in there every day. And uh, I miss you, and I'm looking forward to making this a regular thing. Not just the video stuff, but uh, contacting through the web and building up a little family again. And um, letting you have a peek into my world. And what I'm working on, and hopefully you can be inspired by it and spread the word and all that good stuff all over again, but in a new way. A way that transcends what we were limited by before. So again, much love and respect. and. Uh, where is Bond? Peace.